landscaping it's inevitable that you'll get some dirt and dust along the tracks and where you don't want it to be this is particularly true when you ballast your tracks here we can see I've just freshly ballasted this bit of track and I've got some spillage there. How do you clean such spillage? Well, one way of doing it is with like a normal domestic vacuum cleaner with a sock on the end to catch anything. But I found that my household vacuum cleaner is really strong and it tends to suck up some of the stones here that have been glued down, but it still loosens them. So. I would not even want to use it on places like this where I've done some little landscaping to mimic some flowers. So in the meantime, I got myself this. This vacuum cleaner was available on Dara's. I got it for a total of 1,873 Sri Lankan rupees delivered to my doorstep. That works out to less than 6 US dollars. So let's see how it is. Is it going to work? What's it going to be like? And can it fulfill its purpose? We'll have the unboxing straight after this and straight after that we'll go into a performance test. Let's see if it can at least clear up this spilled ballast. Okay, let's unbox this 2-in-1 vacuum cleaner. Portable, mini, home and car. It says USB there, you've got a picture of the device. Okay, side says 2-in-1 vacuum cleaner, dust collection says lighting. Same thing there, same thing there. Same thing there with a picture of a white model. Okay, I think what I've got here is the black model. Let's find out shortly. Same thing on the bo bottom of the box as well. So I think we can see that one thing is consistent. There's no branding. We don't know who made this thing or where it came from. Let's unbox. Okay, got quite a nice thick cardboard box there. First off, we've got this bit, which I think is what... Yep, that's the vacuum cleaner nozzle. You've got a little rubber flap there, which is sort of valve to prevent dust from coming back out. You've got the filter cone here, removable. Okay, so I think that would seat in like that. Let's just set that aside for now. Now, I presume this thing wrapped in bubble wrap is the main unit. Yes, it is. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Hmm. Okay, so... First things first, it works out of the box, so that's one concern that I had about buying this that's been allayed. Then the other thing is that it's fairly, it's not too loud, but it does make itself known. It blows air out from here, pulls from there, and I'm guessing that it assembles sort of like that, okay? And then we've got a little brush nozzle here, I'm not entirely sure how that is going to fit there. I suspect there'll be like an attachment or something, let's find out. And we've got this, which is the narrow nozzle, which is what you use for tight corners. The shape of it actually increases the vacuum's power. Okay, so I put that there and... Oh, I see. So that's how it works. So the narrow nozzle goes there and then the brush goes on top of the narrow nozzle, which I suppose makes sense because it increases the vacuum's power, like I said before. Let's have a look. Yeah. I could feel... Yes, there is some noticeable suction action going on there, so let's see how it works on my train tracks. Let's put that aside for now, because let's see what else we get in this box. We've got a little USB charging cable, really flimsy, cheap quality, but then I wasn't expecting a cable at all at this price point. So it's a USB-C too, nice. Good to see the USB-C standard getting adopted more and more now, because honestly, micro USB is a pain. USB-C at least, you can put it in either way and it'll work. And, oh, finally we've got a user's manual. Okay, directions for use, the wireless device. Okay, fine, yes, it says how to assemble it, how to charge it, flat mouth and long mouth, okay. Fold the wash clean, okay. I think that's something that got lost in translation on how to clean the filters and stuff. Oh, we've got a little thing here saying after sales service, okay. Customer name address, warranty card, product parameters, the motor power 120 watts okay i'm not going to believe that at all because i highly doubt i'm holding 120 watts of power in my hand right here no chance so yeah noise less than 40 decibels possibly possibly i would say it's more like kind of 60 decibels just off the top of my head maybe usb charging okay 
Matters needing attention. Do not remove repair. Okay, all that thing. Do not start when charging. Please fully charge before using. Okay, I'll do all that before we try it out then. Other side is exactly the same. But in Chinese, I don't know if this is Mandarin or what, which dialect of Chinese it is. Perhaps someone who knows can advise me what this is exactly. But once again, we notice there is nothing that says who made this device. Let's put that back in there. And let's take it downstairs and see how it is. Okay, so let's do the first performance test of this thing on the spilled ballast. I'm going to switch it on now. I'm using the narrow nozzle. Here we go. inside the device that we can see it has nicely captured some excess ballast which I can now just tip into my ballast container and reuse so there's no wastage going on there as well you may have noticed that the motor was slightly slowing down that's because I did not charge this before using contrary to the instructions because I wanted to shoot this video and see how it would turn out I will be charging it fully after this but for now I gotta say I'm pretty satisfied with how it works. It seems to have a decent suction. You can see it has removed the loose ballast there which was not glued down. But it has not affected the ballast that has been glued down. And that's what you want. Because that's what my home vacuum cleaner would do a bit. It would suck up some of the stuff that had been glued down as well. So yeah. The first time I've used this thing it seems to work as it should. Let's see how it goes along the line. And well, even if it fails I haven't really invested a whole bunch of money in it so at worst i'd just consider it like a curio that i was able to get some use out of but at best who knows will it last me a year two years maybe more only time will tell stay tuned for more of my videos subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video if you found it informative i'll put a link as well to the dara's page or listing where i bought this from in case you want to buy it yourself in the meantime here's a bit more of my model railway Enjoy and thanks for watching.